Okay, now if you've got everything together from that list that I showed you, um, you're, you should have your um, seasoning here mixed with the crackers and breadcrumbs. And that again is uh, Keith Lorraine seasoning, which is one of my favorite spice producers. He makes some awesome spices. Uh, here we have uh, chicken breast, which I've already told you to cut in half. Hopefully you've done that. And uh, I have some extra ones over here that I'm working on. Uh, the tin foil you're going to need, you're going to need your casserole dish, and then your oil. And I have dumped the oil in this just a little bit, and I've mixed in some garlic salt. And I basically use this brand of garlic salt. It already has a little bit of parsley in it. And I just dumped a little bit of that in. That's my choice. Now you can use black pepper if you like, or anything. You don't have to use anything, honestly. You can just use oil. But I like to have that little bit of garlic salt to it. So. Now, before we actually go and we put these um, into the oil, I want you to do something to these chicken breasts. Now, you don't have to do it to the underside you cut, but the top side, the more smooth side of the chicken breasts, or where the membrane is over the top of, hopefully yours have membrane like this, um, you're going to take a fork and I want you to stab it. And just stab, 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 stab. Because we want the flavors of this to penetrate into the chicken. Now you can also not stab it, which might also help you retain moisture, but if you cook this correctly, you should be very moist. If you overcook this, then you, you're going to dry it out. So the real trick with, trick with these chicken breasts to keep them from being dry, especially up here on the thicker part, is to not, um, not overcook. You don't want undercooked either, but it's a fine line, so you got to really pay attention. Now these are going to cook for about an hour in the oven, and they'll be ready to go. So, let's start. Now the other thing I want you to do is, before you start, is get a regular teaspoon, nothing special, and a paper towel. Wad up the paper towel like this if you want. Um, take your oil that you mix a little bit of garlic with, doesn't matter. Just take one teaspoon, that's all. Put it in the middle of your casserole dish. That's actually going to be more than enough to do this. And then just take your, basically your little swab here and just spread it around the pan or the casserole dish. Now, if you have a bigger casserole dish, you can just use one for all four of these cuts. If you have a uh, small one like I'm dealing with right here, I have two casserole dishes I'll be using. So, yeah, just wipe it around like this, get it on the sides here, and just over the bottom. You just want a thin skim coat, and that way it uh, protects the, uh, has the glass so that the chicken doesn't burn to any particular part. The oil actually helps. Okay, now here's the part that most people aren't going to understand. Most people are used to breading chicken, and what they do is they go into a flour, then an egg, then a breadcrumb mix. I'm not doing that this way. This is actually a little different, a little less fattening for you too, if you ask me. <laughs> but it, it turns out wonderful. Now, I don't need egg for this. All I need is this oil that I put a little garlic salt in. You can put pepper, you can just leave straight regular oil. Now, I'm also using, uh, since my wife is Thai too, I'm using a Thai uh, soybean oil. Um, so you can get a soybean oil too. Um, you, you can use that. It's actually a really good cooking oil. Works at high temperature. Um, but you can get vegetable oil too or any, you know, whatever oil you're happy with. Uh, not olive oil. Olive oil does not is not good at these temperatures. So um, you actually burn out all the vitamins anyway in olive oil that way. So, what we're going to do is real simple. You're just going to take a chicken breast that you just stabbed a whole lot of holes with a fork. And it's it's not going to be hard at all. Um, fix that. And we're just going to put it in the oil like this. Get a little dip that way. And we'll flip it. And we're just getting a little coating of the oil on. It drip off, we don't want too much. And then we're going to throw it right here into the crumbs. Now this was the crumbs with the seasoning that we put in. Just like that. We are going to get them completely mushed in and covered in these crumbs. Now remember these are this is the um, this is the uh, spice mixed with bread crumbs and mixed with those crackers. Now you can use Ritz crackers, like I said. You can use Ritz crackers or you can use the club crackers like I do, or any cracker you want. That's up to you. I prefer the club crackers in this, but the Ritz work really well as well. 
and uh, any kind of custom specialty cracker you get too can also work. So just put them in here real good, get them nice and coated really well. And then take them after that and put them into your glass casserole dish. Like that. Now, and that'll work really well. So here we go again. We're going to take another one, we're going to dip it into the spice and the oil. Get that one part to flip over, there we go. And we'll flip it in there again. And we're just coating this with oil. Like I said, you don't need a lot of oil. And we're going to throw it in there on there. Again, no egg, no egg wash, no flour, nothing. Now you could actually do this like a regular breaded chicken. You could actually do this with a flour coat, then come back and put it in egg, and then actually use this same mix if you want. It's going to be a little more fattening, and it's going to cook a little different, but it'll still be delicious. The trick with this is the use of those crackers for that flavor, and this spice. And remember, you're going to put a lot of this spice in here. You're going to use probably if you're using one of these bottles of Keith Spices, you're going to use probably about a quarter of that bottle in this to make this. Now, uh, this is my second batch going through this particular one, so you're seeing a lot less in here than there was. But uh, because so I've done, the way I look at it, you could probably do 12 half cut chicken breasts like this, 12 of them in one. Um, with one quarter of that spice mixed like this with this, uh, you should be able to do at least 12 of them. Now, uh, again, now I'm using the under breasts, the underside, which it was cut in half off of the mains. Dig that, put it in here, and run them through. Again, this is this is delicious. I recommend everybody try it. Uh, now that you got the idea how to do this, I'll skip ahead and uh, and show you what to do. And don't mind these big chunks. If you get a big chunk of cracker like that or something, it's fine. Let it get on there. It'll actually taste really good when you eat it. Okay, now that we've done that, I want you to get your tin foil out. We're going to rip off a little tin foil. Now that you put them in the casserole dish here. We're going to stick that tin foil over our casserole dish. Like so, try to get a nice tight fit like that because when you poke holes, it's going to happen. They're going to sag. So anyway, hold your hold your thing. Take a knife. And just do a few holes. You don't have to go crazy, but that's all I want you to do right there. And do that with your with yours, and then we're going to get ready to put it in the oven. I want you to preheat your oven to 350 degrees and then uh, let it heat. Once it's at 350 degrees, if you have an oven that'll tell you, that's uh, up to what kind of oven you have. So I can hit bake, put it at 350, and now it'll start preheating. Once it's heated to 350, then, uh, then we can put it in. Now we're going to put these in for 45 minutes. After 45 minutes, we're going to take them out, we're going to take a little look at them. Uh, they should be done in 45 minutes, but uh, you know you're not going to bet on it. So after your timer go after it's preheated, set your timer to 45 minutes. Very simple. Okay, now I say after about 35 minutes, pull it out and check it when you're about 10 minutes from completion. Take a look at them. Make sure you're not burning them because every oven's a little different. So when I say 45 minutes, that should be all they take to cook, but um. Just want to check because your oven might be cooking at 400 degrees and say 350. Might be saying four, 350 and be cooking at 3, so we need to make sure. Alright, now that I've taken them out, I'm going to open them up. I actually let these go 5 minutes over, so these actually went for an extra, they went for 50 minutes. So 50 minutes, these are done, so, you know, it takes about an hour to prepare and do all this, so not too long. It takes about 15 minutes to to do the chicken, get everything ready if you know what you're doing, and about 45 minutes to cook it. So these went five minutes over, like I said, but look at them beautiful. Beautiful. I and mean, that's the chicken you want to eat right there. So we're ready for that. Now on the side, it's up to you what you make on your sides. I always give you the main dish, but in Wayne's kitchen we made some yellow rice, Spanish yellow rice with uh, spice and all to it. 
and I'm making green beans too to go with this so that'll be my dinner tonight hey welcome back to Wayne's kitchen now we've completed our meal tonight and it is a, a breaded chicken I've done some Spanish rice and some uh, uh, greens on it so that's my choice you can use whatever side you want if you don't like green beans or rice or whatever that's your business but I showed you how to make the main part the chicken and that's what matters so now that you've done a really good job mmm this smells so good we use Keith Lorraine spices again some of the best spices I know uh, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna eat so I hope you enjoyed this and uh, remember you did the cooking let them do the dishes you deserve a break have a good one